Hey, Shadows, how's it going? Shadows Sick here, and welcome to Yes, Yes, Yes. You know what that is. You know, you know. And check out my professionalism. I got a sheet. It is a $40,000 sheet. It is all professional. It's what the professional YouTubers use. I got the, the light blue style because I like blue, and this is the only one that was available because all the rich YouTubers use it. Yeah. Anyway, um, so welcome to an out of the box. Yes, I have got a sheet. This is not technically for YouTube. I do drop it down sometimes. Well, I'm going to be. I haven't yet, but I'm going to be when I record some videos just so that you don't have to see my ugly bed behind me. Also, it's for reasons that my little brother has his Xbox in here and his TV. And um, you hated the whole screen watching thing when you'd play split screen. And you don't have to worry about it anymore, you know? You don't have to. You just... We have this. This is what it's mainly for. So we don't screen watch. So I've got my Xbox, we system link with an Ethernet cable that I've got, or just Xbox Live, depending on whatever we have going. Um, and we play the same game, because we, we usually get a copy of, the, um, of a game we want to play. So we have two copies. We play online together or just verse each other and we have this so that we can't screen watch each other so that we can't cheat and it's a legit battle between us which is really cool so I thought I'd get this so that we aren't tempted to look back or look forward or whatever at each other's screens so this is a lot better and more convenient plus um, this is like extra um, privacy because I have like a shitty curtain there and it could fall down or something it's not even a curtain it's just like a some like material covering like over the wiring covering my window so that no one can see in so if people can see in they can't see in past this if I'm in bed so that's good anyway um, let's not chew up time uh, let's talk about topics I still have a few left and I really need to pee so let's make this quick shall we first topic terrible drivers overtaking for no reason that it was annoying. Very annoying. So, um, I'm a driver, of course. Um, doing long drives is fun-ish. Uh, listening to music, chilling out. I'm a responsible guy. I know the road rules. And ever since I did get my restricted, I've been very uh, strict on road rules. So a lot of things I would even tell my mother or something, they're like, hey, you're not doing that right, whatever. I don't know, this is something I've kind of picked up on, which seems annoying from other people's perspective. Even I'd be annoyed if someone was doing it to me. But hey, anyway, um, so stuff like driving and me going the speed limit, and then some asshole just in a rush overtaking me, not using indicators, and then just passing pretty much everyone. One, you're going over the speed limit, I'm going the speed limit, so there's no reason you should be passing me unless I'm going slow. Two, you're not using indicators, so that's so unfucking safe. Three, you're speeding, and you're fucking putting other people in danger. So, it pisses me off, but you know what I do? I'm just like, okay, so this is the guy, like, he's like going past me, he's just like, and then this is me, just... What a fucking idiot! Shame if you get pulled up and get a fine, you fucking speeding fuck! Impatient people. Fucking impatient asshole! Anyway, you know what I mean? It's like fucking stupid that people are speeding when there's no reason to. If there's someone is going to speed them and you're behind them doing the speed limit, what's the point of hooning past them? Are you in that much of a rush that you want to risk getting pulled up from a cop or getting in an accident and killing yourself or someone else just to get to your destination? I mean, it's understandable if, like, a relative is dying or someone's died or something urgent like that. But just fucking getting to work even? I mean, that's not an excuse. You should have gotten up earlier. Not fucking put other people and yourself at risk just by hooting past someone. Or even you just if you're impatient. I mean, I'm impatient, but I would never pass someone unless they're going under the speed limit. If I'm behind someone and I'm going 90Ks or something, then I'll pass them. Or if, like, we're in a 50K zone and they're going, you know, 40 or 30 or something, I'll wait till I get to a passing lane, then I'll pass them. Some people go over yellow-lined, like, yellow-lined roads and pass, pass you. 
and like going to the other side of the road where cars could be oncoming. So people put themselves and others at risk just to pass you and just to go faster. And yes, going fast is fun. I wish I could go fucking as fast as my car could, but that's illegal. So can you just slow the fuck down and stop trying to pass people unless you want to end up in an accident, kill yourself or someone else and have that guilty conscience or get a fine or even all three. That, that wouldn't make sense because you'd be dead and you wouldn't get a fine. But still, you know, you don't want to kill someone else and get a fine or even go to prison for that shit. So just slow the fuck down if someone in front of you is going the speed limit and you're checking your speedometer and you're going the speed limit, then don't fucking pass them because there's no point in passing them unless it's a truck or if they're going below the speed limit. Personally, I stay behind trucks because trucks are like your bodyguard. Like if there's a crash that happens, his brakes are going to stop. You could stop instantly. He's going to slow down and he may crash into whatever's happening in front of you. So let's just say there's an oncoming collision, there's a truck, you're behind it. The truck's going to crash into them and protect you. You're going to slow down because he, does not gonna, he doesn't slow down as quick as you. So you're going to slow down and you're going to be fine. You pull off to the side of the road. He's going to crash into those people and protect you. You go in front of him and you stop instantly from a crash. You're, yeah, sure, you'll be safe for that split second, but that truck can't slow down as fast as you. So it's going to come hooning and smash your ass. It's going to rip your asshole. So sl slow the fuck down. I'd suggest staying behind. Yes, I do pass trucks. I'm not being a hypocrite. I do pass trucks. Um, but I'd suggest staying behind them because it's safe. There was even a commercial about the truckers saying that we're technically saving you if you stay behind us. But all these fucking dickheads passing us, they're going to get themselves killed because we're not, we can't stop as fast as they can. We're going to smash right into them and probably kill them. So slow the fuck down. Be patient. And everyone will be safe on the roads. That's that topic. Next topic. People getting with others to make them jealous. This fucks me off. It doesn't really fuck me off, it just makes me laugh. I don't know about anyone else out there, but me, me, personally, if someone gets with someone else, I'm not going to be like, oh, boo-hoo, take me back, please, oh, take me back. I'm not going to be like that. I'm going to be like, hey, I don't want your sloppy seconds, bro. You can keep it. Seriously, I mean, come on. You can't just, like, a girl or a guy can't just get with a girl or a guy and be like, I'm going to get with this person and make that person jealous. He's going to want me, he or she's going to want me so bad, right or right. It's like, it's, I don't know about you, but it doesn't work for me like that. For me, it's just like, you can have them, fuck them. I don't want that person. Why would I want them when they're with someone else? One, it's wrong to break up a couple. Two, even if it is just for jealous reasons. Two, why would I want sloppy seconds? Of course they're gonna be fucking. Why would I want seconds? Why would I want to break two people up and then get seconds of what that person just did to that person? It's gross. Like, why would I want sloppy seconds? Why would I want to dive in a pool that's been uh, peed in? I don't know, but. I don't know how to phrase it, but you know what I mean? I mean, come on, like, why would you want to... I mean, I'm not even staring at anyone or anything. I'm just staring at these these kittens. I've got a kittens on my on the calendar. For some reason, I've got a kitten calendar for Christmas. Anyway, um, so why would you want sloppy seconds? So personally, my opinion on that topic is why get with someone to make someone else jealous when you'd ex... I mean, yeah, there's, there's some people out there that would be like, take me back, please. I'm not like that. Um, not that you shadows or whatever need to know that because I don't think any of you out there fancy me or even a nearby to actually Do anything with me or anything like that or regarding me. So my opinion there's, there's obviously others out there Why would you want to get with sloppy seconds and why would you want to break up a couple? That's already a couple even though it's a couple to get you jealous Why? I personally can't bring myself to the thought of kissing someone's lips that someone else is, yeah, I mean, yes, if you get with someone, of course they've had sex with someone else, or kissed someone else, yes, but it's different because that person wants to be with you and you want to be with them, so it doesn't really matter, you get past that and you take over whoever's been with that person before, you take over what they've had and you make that person yours and she, make, she or she makes you 
theirs, you know? So it doesn't really matter. But when it comes to a girl that likes you but wants to make you jealous, it's like, why would I don't want to, like, go down on that girl when someone else has been in her, you know? Just the thought of that is gross. I mean, yeah, of course, people wash, but to me, that's just sloppy seconds, and I just don't do that shit. <laughs> it's different if I want to be with the, because in my case, if I want to be the, with the girl and she wants to be with me, it's different. But with just a thing where she, he, like, she wants me, it's it's not going to work. It's not going to make me jealous. This is going to be like, well, good luck with that. Good luck. Have fun. I hope you guys last forever. Alright, bye bye. You see what I mean? Anyway, um, next. Oh god. This pisses me off. Okay. So this could be this could be a girl on Tinder. Hang on a second. Tinder, hot or not or anything. Okay, let's just pretend I'm a girl. This works. I don't know how, but it works. Anyway, so this is a girl and I don't, yeah, anyway, um, so she's on Tinder, right? Let's just say on Tinder. And, um, she's swiping. She's like, yeah, he's hot, he's hot, swiping right. And then, like, you swipe right and you match. And then I'm just like, I match with her. And it's like, sweet. And so what happens is, is that we're talking to each other, we're chatting away. And then next thing you know, you know, of course, as other people do, they still swipe on Tinder, even though they're talking to someone at the moment. They still swipe just to see if... That anyone, there's anyone else that finds them attractive. So she's swiping along and then finds a hotter guy than you. Or a girl or whatever. And then fucking like starts talking to them instead. And you never hear from that girl again. Or a guy. But in my case, girl. You never hear from that girl again. It's like she's found a hotter guy and she doesn't talk to you anymore. It's like... Bitch! Wait. It doesn't work right. This is my boy mode. Bitch! You want my... So it's, it's unfair that a girl, in my case, because we're talking my case, a girl comes across you, you guys really like each other, she's really hot, really lovely person, and you guys like talking, and then in the background, I mean, yeah, I'm doing the same, but I'm not gonna ditch her or, or like talk to the other girls, I'm just seeing who finds me attractive, because it's a nice, like, self-esteem boost. Like, I'm a guy that hates, well, I don't necessarily hates, but like, doesn't, I'm not, like, you know, I don't praise myself, I'm not vain. But it's nice to know that there's people out there that think I'm attractive, so that's what I do. I find out by swiping right. And then she ends up swiping right and doesn't talk to me at all. I, you, you see my, it's either a hey and a conversation and all that and then she stops talking to me altogether, or it's a hey and then I don't get anything from her. And it's obviously she's gone, oh, he's hot, he's got muscles and abs, swipe. Oh, I match with him. Oh, he's so hot. Tick, 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 tick. And he ought to be like, hey, babe, let's have a fuck. And she's probably like, yeah, okay, totally. And then you never hear from the girl again. And then next thing you know, when she finally replies, she goes, oh, hey, sorry, I got a boyfriend. It's like. Really? Fuck. So you know what I mean? It's, it's just upsetting. It's like. Uh, you know, anyway. So that's all I've got for Out of the Box today. Those are all the topics. I've finally cleared off my list of topics that I wrote down when I was bored. And that's that, is that, is that. Anyway, uh, please leave a like if you shadows enjoy it. Subscribe for more and help me a lot. If you want to suggest topics, please leave them in the comments below or anywhere you can find me. I may even ask for some topics for the next Out of the Box on like Instagram, Vine, Twitter wherever. Anyway, so leave some topics and I will happily talk about them. Or if you want to ask questions as well, feel free to do so. I will put this under, I'll put it under a Q&A as well as a out of the box if there is questions. But it should mainly just be topics for me to address. So, yeah, leave a like, subscribe, comment, topics. Love you all. Bye bye. Sucks because you can't.